A vision of development comes to fruition along Brooklyn Park's Highway 610 corridor. Hello, I'm Alexandra Renslow. And I'm Shannon Slatten. Olympus Surgical Technologies broke ground today on its new $37 million home. Delane Cleveland was there. He joins us now with more. Hi, Delane. Yeah, Alex and Shannon, there were a lot of cold yet happy people in Brooklyn Park this morning. And you can credit that happiness primarily to one thing, jobs. In the shadows of the Target campus, construction crews are hard at work breaking through the frozen tundra on the future home of Olympus Surgical Technologies. Because they wanted to be in the ground, as you see behind us, by, you know, be moving dirt by December 1st. But what on the surface just looks like heavy machines moving dirt. Olympus chose Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Actually represents much more to this collection of dignitaries gathered in a nearby tent. And definitely this facility is going to be one of the crucial, crucial points for us. Once it's all said and done, this site will be the home of a $37 million, 180,000 square foot research and manufacturing operation. It's a great day for Brooklyn Park, it's a great day for Minnesota. One, two, three, two. A day made especially great because Brooklyn Park beat out several other cities from across the nation for the chance to build a facility. I mean, that's exactly the strength of Minnesota, that's exactly why they chose Minnesota. Olympus's decision to stay in Minnesota brings more than 300 jobs to Brooklyn Park, including 100 newly created positions. This is what we plan for, and we think there's even more coming. Brooklyn Park Mayor Jeff Lundy has reason for optimism. With the expansion of the Target campus, the extension of Highway 610 to I-94, and the proposed Bodno light rail line. It's an area that has numerous opportunities for growth. Pretty soon you start to see more companies. This is not the end. Uh, this is just the beginning, we think. Well, Olympus is moving its operations from Maple Grove. Meantime, the state gave Olympus a $1 million forgivable loan to help fund the project, and the city pledged more than a $1 million in tax increment financing to help keep Olympus in Minnesota. And Shannon and Alex, the building should be complete by September 1st, so not too long here. Well, it'll be another celebration then. Yes, indeed. Thanks. <laughs>